Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got uh, Gunslinger Hellmark Station Suicidal. Feeling better, okay? The two videos ago, I was feeling bad. Last video, started feeling better. This video, I feel actually pretty good. Feel pretty good. Can we stand on this? Oh, we're gonna die, aren't we? I don't trust. Nah, I shouldn't. I didn't. I didn't trust it, but I, I stopped trusting it a little bit too late. Now that's bullet time. Stopped trusting it a little bit too late, unfortunately. Suits and boots, guys. We got something. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I haven't. Uh, I haven't been reading much, actually. I. Uh, I've got. Uh, it's funny because I, I ended up finishing the like. What was it? 3,100 chapter long Beast of uh, Genius Doctor Black Belly Miss. Which I liked and was enjoyable and it was insanely long and I managed to read it start to finish without like really having to take any kind of breaks or getting demotivated by it. Which is. I don't know if it's. Uh, oh, for some reason, whenever we're on this map, I end up talking about Chinese light novels. It's a theme. Uh, for some reason. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't know whether it's because it's it's a it's a performance of, of my own dedication to uh, to bad content, uh, or if it's saying something about the the quality of writing um, that I was reading uh, to be able to you know have me enraptured for for so long. Um, I don't know which it is. I don't know which it is. But uh, I managed to read it all completely through. Without having to, I don't get demotivated along the way or whatever. Like I was, I was captured, and I was, I was like, yeah, like I want to watch this, I want to read this the whole way through, you know. And then I started reading another one. So this one is, uh, um, my apprentice has died yet again, or, or my apprentice game over yet again, or something like that. Um, and. It's only like 300 some odd chapters long. I'm on like 240 or something and I'm like, yeah. I haven't read any of it in like uh, three days or something like that. I just, I haven't had the motivation to actually read it. So I don't know if it's because um, I've lost that dedication to the bad content or if it's because this one's just written more poorly. And I think it's because this one's written a little bit more poorly. Um, this one is definitely lower quality content for sure. I have no doubt about that. It's definitely, it's definitely worse. <laughs> um, there, there's a lot of like, you know, Chinese puns and stuff. Like, they'll say something in Chinese, and then it'll mean something else than than what they were saying. And then you'll, she'll be like, you know, your mother's in airport. Your whole family's in airport. And that's there's like four or five of those in each chapter where somebody's like ah you're in airport and it's like your mother's in airport your whole family's in airport and it's like you know your desire it's like you're your desire your whole mother's desire i'm like i just i get it like you're cursing their whole like family but like you have to do it six times in every chapter really really she just uh it sounds like they're trying to make the main character a little bit too uh um, like, not evil, but carefree, I guess, or something. I don't know. It feels like they're trying too hard, and, and it definitely feels like worse content. But And I'm like, but I read 3,100 chapters of the same thing repeated over and over, but with, like, bigger numbers. So who am I to really talk about bad content? I don't know. Anyway kind of where we're at right now I uh, instead of been reading instead of being instead of reading I have been uh, I've been watching a lot of YouTube actually in my free time I'm watching a lot of YouTube actually um, so I watched all of uh, ethos hermitcraft um, season 7 I've uh, been letting that one rack up so there was like 26 episodes or something to watch and that was good fun had a good time watching that. Um, I've been watching pretty much all of Northern Lions uploads, like through <laughs> all of them, pretty much. 
Um, that's about that's about all I've been doing. But that's like three days worth of content right there. Pretty pretty dang well easily you can fill up three days with that. So <laughs> yeah. Um, speaking of Northern Lion, actually, now that the initial uh, you know baby hype is over. Have uh, have I changed my stance on uh, on children? I don't think I have. You know, part of me was worried I was kind of getting infected with. Uh, you know, there's a kind of uh, uh, cliche where uh, you know your friends have babies and now you're like, I want a baby, and then everybody starts having babies at the same time. And that's why there's like these generational gaps, you know, where you have like a whole bunch of people at this age, and then a whole bunch of people at this age, and then a whole bunch of people at this age. It's not really so much a, a clean step, you know, like typically in, in, in a friend group anyway, you know, uh, you're in a friend group or in a family, typically they're, they're, the people are going to be about the same age just because it kind of like spreads, you know what I mean? Um, across the world, obviously people are all sorts of ages, right? But uh, at the very least, within within friend groups, they tend to be fairly similarly aged just because you know your friends have babies and then everybody's like oh we should have a baby too hon and then you know you'll have babies or you're child free uh, or just responsible and make better decisions than that but it doesn't really happen often so but I was uh, I was a little bit aware of this uh, predicament or this cliche so to speak and uh, I didn't want to be you know like oh Northline had a baby I want one too you know I think uh, I think the time where that would be happening is, is kind of past at this point and uh, I'm still I'm definitely still for child in the future I can't have one so I'm still definitely sad about that um, <laughs> but you know it's definitely it's still definitely still a, a feeling that's there and it's kind of like solidified more you know it's kind of just uh, solidified even more as time has passed where I'm like yeah I'm probably gonna have a child eventually which is like bizarre to me, but speaking of not being able to have kids, um, so there's a couple of uh, of trans women in my my friend group, me included, and uh, we can't have periods, you know. And I've talked about it before, where uh, you know trans women would be like, "Oh, I wish I could have my periods," and I always thought like, "Yeah, well, you know, you kind of." It means a little bit easier stuff going on, you know what I mean? So, uh, I think it's a, it's a good thing. I definitely... I don't know how I feel about it, really. Um, I am kind of sad that I can't ever have a child of my own. But at the same time, not having periods sounds kind of cool. <laughs> so, uh, at, you know. But... Uh, one, of, one of our friends made a period joke. And I, I just looked at them, and I'm, I'm, well, I didn't look at them because it's online. Um, but I, I, I thought to myself, like, I just, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure a period joke really ever has a place in the world. Like, I, I feel like they're kind of just a, a bad thing to do. Like, you know, generally speaking, periods are, are one of those things that, that you just kind of pretend don't exist unless you're talking about them you know what I mean they just they just kind of happen and uh, we all kind of just uh, carry on with our lives unless it's relevant to the conversation in which case you know go for it but uh, you know you don't really so I mean anyway they, they they made a period joke and uh, I'm like I feel like this would be poorly received even among like cis women but just what makes it like even worse is that the only women there were were the trans women, and I'm like, it's just that's a that's a really poorly placed joke there, buddy. <laughs> um, so that definitely uh, was a, a bit of a, a slap, you know. And I don't th I think the problem is that uh, people don't realize that it can be a sensitive topic that it, you know like I mean in the first place um, even even among cis women there there can be some who have issues with it and stuff and and aren't able to you know have a child and and and, and be able to, to properly 
do the thing that they, they wish they could, um, but they just can't do it. Um, so it's kind of like, gonna be poorly received anyway. Um, and then also at the same time, it's kind of just a bad topic. Um, and then, um, you know, especially if you're trans, it's like definitely kind of a reminder that like, yep, definitely, definitely not quite right there. You know what I mean? Um, why are you going around, buddy? So, uh, but people don't realize, right? Because, you know, periods kind of directly relate to uh, being able to have children, right? Fairly, fairly, fairly intimately connected there. Um, so it's, it's like, you know, if you can't do that, you can't have kids, really, right? So, um, I mean, I can't, so. And uh, it's kind of just a, where, what are you? strange um, so it's kind of just like uh, people don't realize it but it, it can be quite painful and it's not like because you're beating yourself up over it you know what I mean it's not necessarily because of that because you know you're gonna constantly be reminded that you're not a real woman or whatever because like I am um, really what what kind of gets me about that kind of stuff is that uh, oftentimes I've talked about it before, but oftentimes when you're uh, dating or, or looking for a, a potential partner, um, a frequent occurrence is uh, is a rejection because you can't give them a child and they want a child in their life, and uh, like that's frequent. And it's not even like you can blame them for it, you know, because like that's that's a reasonable thing to want. I want it, <laughs> you know what I mean. So it's like, um, you know, you, you can't really blame them for it so much, but um, it, it oftentimes happens when you're reminded about that, and it's just like, right, yeah, no, I'm uh, never going to be able to to do that. It's just, uh, it's quite, uh, it's not, it's not like the most painful thing in the world, you know, it's just, it's just a little bit of, of, uh, of a reminder that you're different and that just uh that just feels bad so that's why that's why period jokes are bad with trans people and just don't don't tell them in general N nobody's gonna like hate you over it really but nobody's gonna sit there and be like haha good joke dude <laughs> that's my stance on it anyway that's my stance enough of the periods enough of the periods i've uh been doing some typing tests you know what we can do? We can go do a typing test live on camera. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can. You think we can? You think we can? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think I think this is all stuff that you can look at. Yeah. 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 We can do a typing race. Let's do a typing race live on camera. Oh my god. We got a terrible typing race. <laughs> so I've been doing some typing races, some practice typing and stuff. My my speed has been improving, so I don't know. Oh, I'm doing so bad. Hoping for a shorter one. In like Bumsville, Idaho. Okay, so what I wanted to talk about, yeah, no, is that, uh, I guess I should have expected it, given what I was going to be talking about, but what I wanted to talk about 
was that uh, there used to be a lot more concentration of short races. Now there's a lot more concentration of big races, and it's been a little bit disappointing because um, that was definitely like a terrible race yeah, for me too. Like I made a lot of mistakes, um, as you saw. Um, but it's been it's been like there's just been so many more long races now. My type speed has been going up. That one definitely brought the the average down. <laughs> um, but like I've been seeing averages of like 120 to 125 even at times, which is uh, is pretty sweet. Typically my average before would be somewhere around the 100 to 110. So I I talked in a episode a few hundred episodes ago about switching to a new typing method where I'm using. Uh, more fingers on my right hand and uh, I guess we can show why I want that too um, sure I don't really care dude we can, we can show why I want that too so we're gonna go do some of this and some of this and make sure I'm signed in there we go it's beautiful okay and then make sure I'm on the right thing here. Beautiful. Okay, so we switch over. So this is my That's my left hand. Um, this is actually mine. I just did it before I made an account, and then I made an account, and I've never been able to get it again. So I'm really sad about that. Um, but that is that is also me. Um, so my my best is 142. Average typically tends to be a, not that. That's definitely not my average. Um, my average tends to be about 120, 230 ish with my right hands or my, with my left hand, and then for my right hand. Definitely not as good. You can like hear that there are just less keys going on. And I'm even able to talk to a certain extent as I do it because I'm just not typing fast enough for my brain to not be able to do both at the same time. Which is uh, interesting to me because I would think that it would kind of like uh, over like ride what I'm typing but it definitely doesn't for some reason when I'm typing slowly so I guess that uh, I can kind of just do whatever I want and uh, be fine as long as I'm going slow so you can see here uh, with the right hand I only do about 70 words per minute and my average again not really my average I improve my average these days tends to be about 160 290 ish yeah that's actually my best result so far but typically about the I guess 180s I guess uh, 200, 160 to 170 160 to about 180 typically uh, on the score so words per minute probably somewhere in the like 60 to 70 I'd, I'd guess I, I make a lot of mistakes on this one like the accuracy is definitely significantly worse um, but you know um, so that's kind of what I've been working on is bringing up this so that my right hand is a little bit quicker. Um, and then I'll, I'll be able to uh, type a little bit quicker, hopefully. My left hand is, is you know, fast now. enough. It's, 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 it's got the, the coordination that it needs to be able to, to do that kind of stuff. I could maybe go for, for an upgrade on the, um, the left hand test there. Uh, it's not going to do anything for me though you know what I mean like yeah I could maybe get like a couple of words per minute on it um, it's not gonna be the difference between me getting like uh, um, a consistent like 140 words per minute 150 words per minute with both hands um, because what ends up happening is you actually end up hitting keys with both of your hands at the same time so as long as they're both going at the same speed you get to type pretty quick actually um are we survivalist i don't want to be survivalist that's why i'm so slow oh no 
Um, shoot. I still want to play as a gunslinger, though, so... <laughs> Give me the deagles. That's why we're so slow, dude. I'm like, why are we so slow? So I kept, like, trying to re-sprint. Anyway, so, uh... Previously, my best on, uh, like, score on, uh, the, um, right-hand test was, like, at best, maybe, like, 70 to 80. So definitely seeing some pretty significant improvements with the right hand, which is, is good, desired, wanted, liked. It's, it's all these things, you know? It's, it's good stuff. Um... So it's uh, definitely nice to see that. I do want to get the uh, the top spot on uh, on the left-handed test on my account so that I can prove that it's me, you know? Because that sounds like good fun. Uh, and I would like to ideally get the top spot on the right-handed test as well, just so that I can say I have both of them. Because that also seems like fun. Um... As for whether or not I'll actually be able to do that, probably not anytime soon, um, but eventually, perhaps, it could happen. I mean, I don't know. Who might have say it can't, you know? So it's, uh, it could happen eventually, but uh, we'll see. Regardless, I'm super, super pleased with uh, with the improvements that I've, I've shown with my right hand. Um, the new typing method is definitely helping me a lot. Previous typing method was just using my index finger on the right hand to hit everything on the right side of the keyboard not very good new method actually uses uh most of my keys and these days like, like i'd have trouble going back to typing the other way just because i'm so used to it so definitely definitely an improvement to my uh, my ability to type yeah and we're gonna go ahead and uh, change back to gunslinger please thank you okay now we're nice and quick again that's what i like to see Either this is a Bit of a scary round, gunslinger demo with uh, the deagles. But hey, <laughs> we made it through anyway, and that's what matters, right? Now we're nice and quick again. Now I feel good. I didn't feel good in that one, but... This is a really good map, man. It's so cool. So, so cool. Haven't, uh, haven't messaged anybody about the commission for the new avatar yet, but I know who I'm going to ask. Uh, I don't... We're taking a whole bunch of breaks today, okay? We'll, uh, we'll see if I can find who it is that I am um, going to use if they still have people like available. Which they might not. They may not. See, you can't see any of this, right? Yeah, no, good. I wouldn't want you to. Mm, I can't see who they are. Okay, we'll go ahead and get uh, okay. Maybe I should search for from okay, from this dude because I know that uh, oh I have stream remote enabled yeah I don't want that okay from this dude who sent it has link and this should get me to where I need to go. Okay, in the channel that had this, because he talks in the other channels too, a whole bunch. And uh, we should be able to find... Aha! Okay. So, who I'm commissioning from is somebody known as Miss Chamomile, if her commissions are currently open, which they might not necessarily be. Um, but I'll show you some of her stuff. So this is who I'm, I'm hoping to to get commissions from. I, I think her stuff's pretty cute. So 
If the opportunity presents itself, I'm going to probably message her later today if I can. I don't know if her commissions are open, but I'll probably wait um, if they aren't uh, for, for a little while. Just to see if uh, I can sneak my way in there. My uh, my buddy has used her a few times and all of the stuff that he, he has is, looks fantastic. So uh, if I can get a commission from this lady, that would be fantastic. If I can't, that's also okay. Um, Y'all should still check her out because I, I can say with confidence that, that she does some really, really cute stuff. Um, if you're looking for, for commissions or anything like that, definitely would recommend. Um, my friend, like I said, has got some stuff done and uh, it's it's all very good quality. He, he changes his like avatar every so often and uh, he usually gets commissions for that and that's who he's been using lately and, and it's, it's probably some of the better stuff that he's got commissioned in my opinion so I, uh, I, I, I definitely definitely okay with, with, with giving her some mild advertising even uh, even if uh, it's um, not who I end up going with if it isn't then it's only because she had too many people buying stuff from her which is like a good sign, I guess. <laughs> but that's who I'm, uh, I'm hoping to message later. Miss Chamomile. Chamomile. However you want to say it. Chamomile. 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 I love it. Um, anyway. Have not messaged anybody about it yet, but uh, that's who I'm probably going to message. So, should be getting a new avatar in, uh, in a similar kind of style to that soon-ish hopefully um, it's fairly affordable from what I could see about 20 to 40 dollars or something like that for for like a person standing kind of thing pretty good I think um, yeah got to get some thumbnails made for Minecraft so another commission there probably <laughs> it's a lot of money that I'm spending on YouTube and I'm not getting anything back yet dude but it's okay now that we're pivoting to the to the Minecraft stuff, we will uh, probably turn it into a career fairly confidently. Oh, ha, ha. if I got a headshot on that one, that would have been a sick move right there. That's how we do it in Darwin. You want to go for the headshots? You don't have to go for the headshots on these guys, okay? As uh, this is a little pro tip for y'all, as uh, I want to be gunslinger mains, okay? Even on the guys that you can shoot in the in the chest and get a one shot on you know no uh, no headshot here okay even on those guys you want to get the headshots just so that when you're headshotting the scrakes and stuff or this guy for instance you get to, to save one bullet Bruv. okay so always go for headshots also it makes at the end of the uh, of the uh, of the round it makes you look even cooler because you had more headshots, which is like the most important part of uh, of any KF2 match, really. It's the most important part, in my opinion. However, you can't really headshot everything, right? Like some things, you just don't get to, to headshot. It's just the way that the the cookie crumbles, unfortunately. Like the husks and the stupid Edars. Don't get to... You don't get to headshot them. I mean, you can if you want. It's just uh, not going to be such a great idea. Oh, jeez. Hey, buddy. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Anyway. That's your, that's your gunslinger tutorial guide there. Go for headshots. That's that's really it. As long as you're headshot and stuff, you'll win as a gunslinger. Once you stop headshot and stuff, you die. Where, where are these going? York cancelled. Windsor and Etten on time. Windsor and Etten is on time. Peterburg. P Peterborough. Peterborough. Reading. Reading, probably. Oxford is probably... Messed up, dude. Edinburgh. We'll make it. We'll make it. 
This is a very important trader to make it to as well, so we best make it. <laughs> this is this is the trader, dude. The trader pod design is not terrible. The trader pod design terrible. is terrible, actually. I'll have you know old again. trader lady who somehow managed to move around the map and, and kind of provide lucky. you with guns. Way better. Okay? Way better. Give me old trader lady back. That's who I want to see. That's who I want in my life. Baoji? I don't know how to pronounce. Asian stuff, I just... Unless it's Japanese, like Romaji or Hiragana. Like, just... I'm not probably going to pronounce it right. Uh, you know, I can, I can pronounce some Chinese-ish stuff. I don't get the tones right, though. And then you give me, like, uh, some Taiwan or Vietnamese or Korean, and I'm like, nah. <laughs> there is absolutely no possibility whatsoever of me confidently saying this properly, you know? I typically get pretty close. I can typically kind of look at something and be like, you know what? Xiaomi doesn't sound right. It's probably like Xiaomi or Xiaomi or something like that. I got I got some kind of a uh, sense for the stuff, but definitely, um, Who's short of cash? it's hard to read sometimes. As somebody who doesn't know how to read it, does that make sense? Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.